Welcome back everybody. Winter is sadly well upon us. The time of sloppy trails, overworked washing machines, but big smiles and destroyed bikes. So with that, it got me thinking, what better time to build the ultimate winter bike than now? Hence, the cart full of parts behind me. So stay tuned for what's gonna be a banger. Yet winter time at my local is a grim affair. Gritty, horrible mud just destroys bikes. So I'm building up a hardtail, people. Yes, a nuke-proof scout to be exact. Something that is going to withstand those horrible conditions. So let's get building. Okay, we've gone for the green Lyric. Yes, 150 mil. You've probably seen this already on Doddy's one as well. Basically, the Zeb's a bit too much for a hardtail. I think it wasn't really necessary. The Lyric is just right. 150 mil or 140 the frame can take. I went 150 because I plan on hitting things hard. But don't worry, it's not going to look the same as Doddy's. No, I have got some custom secrets up my sleeve later on. Right, so she's starting to take shape. I've gone for an SLX group set because SLX works amazingly well and doesn't break the bank. So when it grinds down to a paste over the course of the winter, it's not gonna kill me to replace it and put new parts on that. An aluminum rental bar and stem because I don't want carbon on a hardtail. I want as much sort of absorption of all the small bumps. Like I said, we got the 150 mil Lyrics. There is a big 180 mil dropper on there. This is a size large frame. <laughs> Smash the camera. Whoopa. A quiet bike is indeed a happy bike, especially on a hardtail and especially in winter. So rather luckily with this frame comes this rubber tubing as well, which just goes over the outer, sits inside the frame and help keep things nice and quiet. Oof, okay. Custom graphics. Mm hmm hunting camo. You'll never see me coming. For a man of zero patience, and the missus will testify to that, I'm well chuffed. Oh. No way. That looks wicked. Well chuffed for that. Boom, check this out, done and dusted. Right, I've built the thing up, I'm gonna hold off doing all the fine tuning stuff, I'll do that off camera and we'll check back in in the woods and I'll get a full run through of the bike and why I've got it set up exactly as I have. See you in the woods. Look at this thing of beauty. We've made it to the woods and it's complete. Dude, I am stoked how this has turned out. I reckon this could well be the ultimate winter bike. So let's run through it. Just a few of the bits I've chosen, why I've chosen them, and a few parts I've swapped out since the build earlier on in the vid, which the eagle-eyed amongst you might spot. So let's start at the front. So obviously we've got custom graphics on this route. I love a little bit of shooting. I love the wildlife and outdoors. So I've gone with sort of that wildlife camo and orange color scheme. We've obviously got aluminum bar and stem because I want to feel that little bit of flex. A carbon bar is too stiff on a hardtail, in my opinion. Obviously a Garmin mount here. I've left the stack on the, on the stem here, still quite high above it. That's because I, I want to have a little play around. So I want to have the potential to move my bars up and down in that sense. So I'll chop that at a later date. Obviously, we got a nuke-proof Garmin mount on top there as well, because I love a little bit of the data. Well, no one likes rattly cables, so I've taped those up so they stay nice and quiet. And obviously, this is the ultimate winter bike, isn't it? So a huge RRP mudguard on there as well with the custom painter decals as well. Let me know if you're loving those in the comments down below. Matching fork graphics on the 150 mil Lyric. So obviously, it's a hard tail. There's only suspension at the front. So I've got some clever trickery in there, a true tune 
insert. Now what that's supposed to do, activated carbon inside the insert is supposed to make the fork feel more like a coil, a more linear spring rate, if you like. No insert in the front tire, 2.4 trail cased Vittoria Mazza. Let's talk about the tires quickly. It's an enduro casing tire with an airliner, Vittoria airliner insert in the rear because the back end takes a hell of a pounding on these bikes. Obviously we've got an aluminium frame. She's a beaut, 175 mil dropper, obviously a single ring up front. I don't have a bash guard or a chain device on this one yet. I'm experimenting without because I think the narrow wide is gonna hold it nice and secure and I'm not gonna need it on there. If I do, well, there's the ISCG tabs on there and I can easily put one on, but I don't think, I think it's gonna get clogged up with mud, so I've actually left it off. Like I said, big dropper, clipless pedals, because you're gonna get rattled around on a hardtail. We all know that. So clipless pedals on there, the old Crank Brother Mallet Ease on there on some 175 SLX cranks. So moving back, this is where some of the cool stuff happens as well. So obviously it's 12 speed. Now let's address the wheels, because in the build, you would have seen some carbon FSAs go on. Now I've switched those out. I decided, I was mulling it over at night. I was like, ah, aluminium. For the same reason why the bars are aluminium is why I switched the wheels out. Because again, I want a little bit more compliance, a little bit more flex going on there. So we got the Spank 359 on the front, uh, rear, sorry, and 350 at the front. Uh, paired with obviously a 180 wheel rotor on the 200 mil rotor on the front as well for a bit more braking power. But that is again, just to give a little bit more compliance, a little bit of a more forgiving ride to what is gonna be a wild ride on this thing. Four pop brakes, XTs, obviously you're gonna need some power. I wanna go hammering down some hills and I need to slow down. A little note actually, it's just drawn my attention to it. I actually crisscrossed the cables underneath the top tube here so that I can run them in better arcs at the front to be able to sort of keep cables together and that's why I taped them together just to keep it nice and quiet. Tubeless of course, I'm stoked with how it's turned out. It looks absolutely rad. I'm keen to go thrash it on the trail so uh, let's get on up there. Here we go, look, rain is coming. Proper winter shred it coming your way. Flippin' love these conditions. Oh my God, this hardtail is sick. I am loving it. Just need to tweak the suspension a bit because it's a little bit soft and tighten up the, the stem. The bars aren't quite straight, but freaking out. I need to go back to the top. This thing's rad. Oh my God, unreal. This is the little hardtail that could. Tech track rules, let's go hit some flow. Okay, I'm sold. This is the ultimate winter bike. I think I've made it and I am well stoked of how it's turned out. I tell you what, let me know what you think your ultimate winter bike is in the comments below. What do you reckon to mine? I am well pleased with it. It's a beauty. Right, let's go get a cup of tea. It's back to the trail center. Thank you much for watching everyone and I'll catch you next time. Mwah. See ya.